repeat just before Thanksgiving. What officials say you need to do so that you don't get sick. It's 1107. We've got temperatures outside right now only in the 50s. Temperatures later on tonight tumbling down back to the freezing mark in Anthem, the Southern Highlands and Summerlin. We'll see how long this chilly air lasts next. Sources tell ABC News the House Oversight Committee plans to investigate President Trump's involvement in the so-called hush payments made during the 2016 presidential campaign to women who claimed to have affairs with the president. Lawmakers are expected to start this probe when Democrats take control of the House in January. Well, Vice President Mike Pence is in Tokyo, Japan today, and he's there to discuss North Korea and other issues with Japanese officials before heading to two summits, uh, two regional summits, I should say. The Vice President will meet with the Japanese Prime Minister uh, tomorrow to talk about China's growing influence in the region. And Pence recently mentioned in an op-ed with the Washington Post that America will soon begin negotiations for a, quote, historic trade agreement with Japan. Well, with the major wildfires happening right now in California, be on the lookout for scams when it comes to relief funds. We're going to have some advice coming up in Financial Focus. And a girl escapes her would-be kidnapper. What officials say she did that you should consider teaching your kids? Well, now to a consumer alert from the CDC as Thanksgiving nears. 70 more cases of salmonella, including a death, have been linked to the raw turkey products. Now, the CDC announced the outbreak back in July. There are now a total of 164 cases in 35 states. No illnesses have been reported here in Nevada, but 13 cases have been reported in California. Lab tests show that the salmonella came from a variety of products, including ground turkey, turkey patties, live turkeys. The CDC said that if you plan to handle raw turkey, make sure that you are extra careful. Wash your hands after touching it. Cook products thoroughly to avoid getting sick and then thaw those turkeys in the refrigerator, not on the counter, which um, is good to know because mm. I think sometimes I may have put it on the counter. <laughs> I don't I, know, uh, the, the two times I cooked the turkey. <laughs> I'm not great at Elvis impersonations, but after have, hearing, listening to all of those gross ways in which we can, uh, you know, disperse with salmonella, my lift just keeps going up. Mm. I was wondering where you are mm. going with that. Mm. It's gross. Yeah, it's that's, how gross. I feel. that's how I feel about the weather, Justin. It's cold out there. Yeah, no, the turkey's way grosser than the weather. <laughs> it is cold, though. I know you're not into that. Most people, I think, can agree that no. it's, it's a little too chilly for comfort outside. This morning, we dropped to 39 at McCarran. We tumbled down to 31 at the Henderson Executive Airport and officially we dropped to 36 this morning at the North Las Vegas Airport. Now tomorrow morning uh, here in the central part of town we will tumble to 37 uh, Henderson's Executive Airport. So kind of the West Henderson area back down around the freezing mark and then in North Las Vegas we'll look for lows up on the north side of the valley in the mid 30s. Another very cold night is ahead. We've got temperatures outside that are still struggling to get out of the mid 50s. Uh, it feels even worse out there with a 21 mile per hour steady wind and the air is incredibly dry. Not sure about your hands or your lips or your hair, but yeah, all uh, indicating that very, very dry air is in place here in Las Vegas. At least that gives us lots of sunshine during the daytime. Now, temperatures pushing into the upper 50s next hour. And that's about all we're expecting for highs 59 to 60 degrees around most of town. Of course, the sun sets before 5 p.m. 6 o'clock onward. Uh, we're falling very quickly down through the 40s. And as we discussed, another very cold night with temperatures back down to the 30s late tonight. The <laughs> forecast high today, 60 degrees. Uh, that's eight degrees colder than the average. That's very impressive. It's not even all that often nowadays that we see temperatures this far below average. Uh, the record high is 81, so uh, we're nowhere close, obviously, to those records. And the reason why this northeast wind steady at 23 miles per hour at the Nellis Air Force Base, 20 mile per hour wind at the Henderson Executive Airport, and through the afternoon expect a few more 25 mile per hour gusts, although late today into this evening, the winds will drop under 10 miles per hour. So the high today, 62 in Pahrump, 60 in Las Vegas, 61 in Mesquite, and 65 in Laughlin. Tonight, we'll drop back down into the low 30s on the edges of the Las Vegas Valley. We do have this freeze warning in effect late tonight through tomorrow morning. Uh, the National Weather Service issues a freeze warning when 
we're going to drop down toward the freezing point for the first time in the season. Just kind of a heads up. You need to protect plants or bring them inside. Low medium pollen levels today and tomorrow, even lower by the middle of the week. Dana already thinking about the weekend as we always are, but one of the reasons we've got great weather Thursday back into Friday, Saturday and Sunday highs will be close to 70 degrees, but over the next couple of days and certainly the next several nights, we'll have to turn on the heater. All right, good golf weather for Steve Buden, right? It's always good golf weather. <laughs> it's time for Financial Focus with our analyst Steve Buden. And we've got a lot of things to talk about. We had mentioned earlier about these relief funds for the folks that are dealing yeah. with these wildfires. <clears throat> and I know that uh, you always like to point out, make sure that you double check and check again that these are not scams and that they're legitimate organizations, right? Yeah, it didn't take but two hours for me to start receiving emails uh, about donate to this charity, donate to that charity on Facebook, on Twitter. You don't know who's putting those websites up. So we've done a lot of the heavy lifting for you. Uh, we've recommended a couple, as mm -hmm. we've done before. Yeah. But do your due diligence. You know, there are, there are you know, obviously uh, evil people out there mm -hmm. trying to prey on the vulnerable here. Just make sure your money's going to the right thing. If you have family members in California, you know, there's contractors out there who claim they're licensed. Mm -hmm. They're probably not. Just be careful. Yeah, and obviously they, they you're right, they do people do work quick. If if you've got if you're mean spirited, yeah. you're trying to scam someone, you know when something happens you're gonna kinda pounce and approach someone and try and get them sucked in, right? Yeah, it seems like these emails are pre populated. They mm -hmm. just change the tragedy at the top mm -hmm. and out it goes. It's that quick. So right. just just be careful. You know, everybody works hard for their money. You wanna do the right thing. Uh, we've recommended a few. Go with those. Okay. You and I were just discussing uh, open enrollment and insurance, yeah. but something else that's very important is paycheck withholding. And I know you've talked about this before. People need to go in and check their paychecks right. and how much they have coming out, right? Right. The tax law changed uh, for 2018. We're running out of time. There's only, uh, you know, six, seven weeks left in the year, if you can believe that. But there's still time to change your withholdings. The way that the tax law changed, many more people should be taking a standard deduction. So they may or may not need to withhold as much. Mm -hmm. And if you're withholding too much, you may or may not get a larger refund. Mm -hmm. Everybody's case is unique, but you should go into, as you're enrolling in your benefits, like we were doing for you, right. check the withholding to make sure that you're not over withholding or under withholding. So you're not given a rude surprise come April. Right. I kept saying to you, are you sure, Steve? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> I'm going to regret it. I know it. <laughs> no, we're fine. We're fine. Um, but no, all important things. I think before the year is up, everyone should review everything yeah. that they're doing because there's yeah. so many changes year to year, yes. right? There is. And if you don't make the change now for a lot of these things, like you were saying, yeah. it's the whole year you've got to wait to do it again. That's right. Seven in 10 employees keep the same benefits and the same things they have. Take five minutes, take 10 minutes, go in and review it. it it'll do you some benefit. All right. Let's talk motorcycles, electric yeah. motorcycles. What, Harley Davidson's getting in the business? Yeah, I love these stories. You know, as uh, the economy changes and times change, here's an old bellwether. Harley Davidson is coming out with electrical motorcycles. Mm -hmm. Maybe they'll convince you to ride motorcycles. No, no. I don't want to. They're dangerous. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, they're known for the loud roar. That's sure. the Harley the Harley standard, right? But their market share is shrinking. The the younger folks are not riding as many motorcycles, so they're they're trying to do something to modernize. Mm -hmm. And what they're trying to do is come out with electric motorcycles. We'll see what happens. Uh, I give them credit for taking the risk, but who knows if it'll work? Mm -hmm. But the, their sales really have been dropping. And you know, with the the Teslas and the battery sure. cars, electric cars, they felt. Giving it a shot with motorcycles makes sense. We'll see. Okay. But these are these are interesting stories. Yeah, definitely. Very yeah. quiet. Okay. Thanks, Steve. We'll sure. see you next week. Stay with us, Rebecca. After this. Well, police say a quick-thinking 10-year-old stopped a would-be kidnapper just by asking one question. It's a story parents will want to pay attention to. ABC's Paul Ferris has more. This morning, an urgent warning from police about potential abductions like these. Children facing possible kidnapping, running, fighting, even jumping out of cars. And now police in Arizona say a 10-year-old girl thwarted her would-be abductor by following a plan created by her family. My daughter called me in tears, crying, upset. She told me that some guy tried to take her. The girl's mother says she was walking with a friend near a local park when a man driving a white SUV pulled up beside them. He told her that her brother had been in a serious accident and that he, she needed to come with him. Instead, she asked for a code word, and that's when the driver took off. It's a plan the girl's family came up with only recently. They know who can pick them up and who can't, but there's always, you know, that special situation where there might be somebody they don't know or don't know well. So that's why we came up with the code word. 
It's a technique that is being praised by law enforcement. The mother of this child did an awesome job teaching a code word to her child and uh, that potentially saved that girl's life. Experts say the most important thing a child can do to escape an attempted abduction is to be proactive. In 2016, a 13-year-old girl was caught on surveillance video running from a would-be kidnapper in Florida who allegedly stepped out of his car and grabbed her by the waist. She resisted and fled. And in 2015, a Connecticut teenager accepted a ride from an abductor and later jumped out of a moving car. He you can see her slamming into the pavement. And in 2013, this eight-year-old girl bit a man who was trying to take her. This surveillance video shows her fleeing to find her parents. 80% of the time children are able to get away from a would-be abductor is because something that they did on their own volition, whether that's kicking or screaming or using the code word. Paul Ferris reporting. While Michelle Obama opens up in an ABC News exclusive, she just revealed that she and her form and the former president, her husband, uh, get marriage counseling. Yeah, it's really interesting. She's giving even more details now about their relationship. You're watching 13 Action News live at midday. Join us for our next half hour. Now, from Las Vegas, this is 13 Action News live at midday. Right now on the Valley's only 11 o'clock newscast, new information coming out about the gunman who opened fire in a California bar, why his former high school coaches say he was a ticking time bomb. And it's almost winter, and there's a good chance you can already feel it, why the cold weather could be dangerous if you're not prepared. And it's the scam targeting those cash apps like Venmo on your phone, what you need to be on the lookout for, and how you can prevent becoming a victim. Hello everyone and thanks for joining us for the second half of 13 Action News Live at Midday. I'm Dana Roselli. Well, you may have noticed when you walked outside this morning, it is definitely not summer anymore. And 13 Action News reporter Alicia Patillo has what you need to know about as these temperatures continue to drop. Cold weather can be extremely dangerous if you're not prepared. That's why it's important to talk about it and know what to avoid. New this morning, a tip you probably never heard before, take off the heavy coats. A new study shows that when children are strapped in with their coats on, the seat belt is actually looser, making it easier for them to get hurt. Experts say remove your child's coat before placing them in their seat. And of course, remember the three P's, people, plants and pets. Dress warmly and that includes checking on your senior Valley residents. Bring in those plants and pets if you're cold, so are they. Again, we are under a freeze warning until tomorrow morning. Alicia Patillo, 13 Action News. All right, let's check in with Justin right now and get an update on the weather forecast. See, I'm so cold, my head is facing the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's a whole thing. It just really messes with my We're mind. We're just searching for the warmth <laughs> wherever we can find it. It is chilly outside, Dana. Despite this sunshine, uh, once you step out the door, yeah, you feel that nip in the air. Temperatures as we slide through this Monday afternoon, observing Veterans Day today. Well, temperature is primarily in the low in the mid 50s over the next few hours and this evening. Yeah, it's going to get very chilly very quickly. We'll tumble down into the 40s after dark weather in your neighborhood. Probably no warmer than 55 in Summerlin, 60 in Centennial Hills. It's just funny when you think that but a month or two ago, uh, we routinely had triple digit heat uh, today. We're probably not going to get out of the 50s in Sunrise Manor in the North Las Vegas area. 59 the projected high in Mountain's Edge. Temperatures down south, 59 Green Valley, maybe 60 in the Southern Highlands and out toward the lake 62 uh, there. But very, very chilly stuff and with winds coming in from the northeast at about 15 to 25 miles per hour feels even chillier. So tonight we've got a freeze warning. Uh, Alicia mentioned that that runs through tomorrow morning. It officially begins at 11 p.m. 32 degree temperatures are most likely on the west side and the south sides of the valley. So protect those pets and plants. Uh, Dana, we're going to talk about when 70 degree weather is going to make a return to our forecast. We're going to have to wait a little while, but eventually it's going to warm back up. All right, thanks so much, Justin. New information on a deadly double shooting that took place during a birthday party Saturday. Officials say only one shot was fired and the entire thing may have been an accident. Officers were called out to the home near Las Vegas Boulevard and Wigwam, and they say that one bullet went through one man's head, killing him and then striking another man. That other man is recovering. Right now, police say that they are not looking for any suspects and they call this whole case very complicated. 
Well, another desperate plea from officers in the valley after a three year old accidentally shot himself on Saturday night. Officers now urging parents to lock up their weapons. Officers responded to the shooting in North Las Vegas near Lone Mountain and Donna. The child was rushed to the hospital and at last check was still in critical condition. Like officers, neighbors say that they are tired of this happening. It's just unbelievable. I mean, how do you, sh how's a three year old shoot themselves? I'm not against having weapons in the house. It's just about being able to lock them up and keeping an eye on your kid. It's not that hard. Well, last month, a five year old was shot by his brother. And in June, a two year old died after a 10 year old shot him with a gun that they were playing with. In both cases, the children's father was arrested. Well, there are disturbing new details about the gunman who killed 12 people at a bar in Thousand Oaks, California. ABC reports Ian David Long's high school track coaches were concerned. They say back in 2007 and 2008, Long would constantly lose his temper and throw tantrums. One of the coaches now confirms Long grabbed her rear after she refused to return a call, uh, a phone call. And the she says another time that he used his hand to mimic shooting her. Long was briefly kicked off the team, but rejoined after apologizing in front of several coaches and administrators. Investigators still have not determined a motive for last week's shooting over the weekend. And the coroner confirmed Long killed himself. Well, you still have a chance to send a message of hope to Thousand Oaks. Two large banners are at the Clark County Government Center. Dozens showed up last week to sign them with messages of love and support, and they're going to be on display through next Friday. And if you're struggling to process what happened in Thousand Oaks, there is help. Bridge Counseling Associates is hosting free support groups on Tuesday and Wednesday. It's at 3 p.m. both days. Bridge Counseling is on Alta Drive. It's right near MLK. Well, two men facing charges in a deadly warehouse fire in California will go to trial. And you may remember the ghost ship fire near Oakland that happened almost two years ago. It killed 36 people and at least one of their lawyers and the prosecutor say that they are glad a plea deal isn't going to happen. We're going to trial. We, you know, can prevail. And a judge refused the attorney's motion to reinstate a plea deal. The deal would have given one man nine years and the other six. The two men are facing charges of involuntary manslaughter. Interestingly, and from my perspective, unexpected, my client gave me a note in writing, and then he told me verbally that he wants to go to trial. Well, the two men are due back in court December 3rd, so a trial judge can be appointed. Well, the race to recount Florida votes just got messier. Governor Rick Scott, who is running for a Senate seat against incumbent Democrat Bill Nelson, is now filing three new lawsuits. The campaign claims ballots were counted after Saturday's deadline, which is against the law. All 67 counties face a Thursday deadline to complete the recounts. Well, in Georgia, Republican Brian Kemp is declaring victory as his Democratic opponent, Stacey Abrams, files a lawsuit claiming voter suppression. The state has until tomorrow evening to certify the votes. And if neither candidate gets more than 50 percent of the vote, the state will go to a runoff election. Well, a lot of people are talking about Michelle Obama's exclusive interview with ABC's Robin Roberts. She opened up about everything, including her eight years in the White House, the 2008 presidential campaign, and what she thought the very first time she met Barack Obama. He's still a law student mm -hmm. at Harvard. Right, a first year. First year. <laughs> You're going to be his mentor. Yeah. He comes blowing into town, a little bit famous already, late for the first meeting. Late, late. I was like, is he trifling? This is the black man's gonna be late on the first day. I was like, mm. You weren't overly impressed in the beginning. I, I wasn't, you know. Well, Michelle's new memoir, Becoming, is out tomorrow. Well, if you have a cash app on your phone, you'll want to listen to this. A new scam is targeting anybody with apps like Venmo. 13 Action News reporter Marissa Kiniston tells us how it works and how you can protect yourself. A lot of people are ditching the ATMs and using these types of apps straight from their phone and scammers are hoping that you'll have this app on your phone too. Here's how the scam works. A stranger approaches you on the street and asks if they can use your phone, saying he needs to make a quick call. But instead of typing in a phone number, he finds a cash app like Venmo and does a quick transfer to his account. You may not even realize what's happening. So here's how to protect yourself. 
go into the app settings and scroll down to security. You can set up a pin and that means you'll be the only one able to access the app. Another way to protect yourself, whatever cash app you use, the Better Business Bureau says only link your account to a credit card. Credit cards will almost always reimburse you for fraud. And last, keep your app up to date. Auto update can help this. Scammers and hackers can get in easier if the app isn't updated. These tips are good to use for anything that you link your credit or debit card to. Marissa Kinnison, 13 Action News. A popular McDonald's has been remodeled and it's going to include some high tech changes. The owner joins us live and tells us about some really good specials they're having to celebrate their 25 years in Henderson. And the famous Mickey Mouse turns another year older this week in Disney parks. All over the world are celebrating. We're taking a look at the party over in Paris. A real chilly start to the week here in Las Vegas. Temperatures struggling to get out of the 50s this afternoon. It will be a slow climb into the low 60s today and tomorrow. By the end of the week, Thursday, we're flirting with 70 degrees. We'll see how much more mild air we can pull into the valley with the seven day planner next. Hey everybody, we're here to motivate you on this Monday afternoon with how you can get involved to help military families in need across the country. Plus, high school musical star Ashley Tisdale is here and one of your favorite viral video stars. Right here next for a great GMA day. Join us, we'll see you then. Well, the strong October box office is continuing into November. The World War II pick Overlord opened in third place, grossing $10.1 million on Veterans Day weekend. And Bohemian Rhapsody lost the top spot, but made $30.9 million, hitting $100 million domestic in 10 days. And it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. The Grinch debuted at the top end of expectations, delivering $66 million. I believe that just came out this weekend, so not too shabby. Seems like you'd like the Grinch movie. Kind of yeah. up your alley you around know, the I house. Was, I was just as shocked as you were when Josh Bell told us on Friday that the Grinch with Jim Carrey is 20 years old. I mean, how old did that make you feel? <laughs> 20 years older 20 than I thought. <laughs> exactly. It just it's came true. out last year. I mean, it looks cute. I think it's... Yeah. Probably enjoyable. Yeah, pro probably. Probably. Add in a little popcorn, a Diet Coke Exit. as big as your face. Oh, yeah. I'll watch anything. It's the best. Yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, we've got some weather uh, outside that'll make you want to head inside. And as well as the very chilly air, we also have incredibly dry air. I feel like I've been shocking myself every time I reach for the, the car door handle. Uh, the relative humidity is down there at 15%. Our dew points are in the low single digits, so air is very chilly, but also very dry. 56 right now at McCarran, 51 in Summerlin, 56 right now North Las Vegas. You know, down in Anthem, it was 31 degrees this morning. First time this fall, we've dropped down, down to the freezing mark at the Henderson Executive airport and to add insult to injury we've got a 20 mile per hour wind down there coming in from the northeast about the same amount of wind at McCarran as well as up towards Sunrise Manor near Nellis Air Force Base uh, so it is still pretty breezy out there Our 13 hour wind forecast says hey, through the middle of the day the early afternoon steady winds around 20 miles per hour uh, by the end of the day as the sun sets before 5 p.m. the winds back down to 10 miles per hour and then thankfully uh, mercifully, the winds, which have been a big deal the last couple of days, they will calm down this evening as well as tonight. Temperatures out there through the afternoon only pushing into the upper 50s, maybe near 60 degrees briefly for the high today. Clear sky tonight is going to allow temperatures to drop into the 40s, low 40s around and just after midnight. I mentioned that, you know, it's nice that the winds are going to relax a little this evening. All well, the calm conditions later on tonight couple with our clear sky uh, to give us a really, really cold forecast. Uh, today, the high is just barely 60, 62 in Pahrump, 61 in Mesquite. There is a freeze warning in effect tonight for this area in purple. Uh, it does not include the Spring Mountains because, hey, you've already been down to freezing. Uh, you are experienced at that. But in these purple areas, the potential uh, to drop down to the freezing mark for the first time this fall. We'll look for a low around 37 uh, in the central part of Las Vegas, all the way down to 30 in Pahrump. Lows in the 40s in Laughlin. Here's a closer look at the valley yeah, down to about 37 in the middle part of town, but freezing down to 32 on the west and the south sides of the valley. Back near 70 on Friday and Saturday. Dana, that's going to be a nice finish to the weekend, a little above average Thursday through the weekend. But today, tonight and tomorrow, hope you have those coats handy. You talked about popcorn and 